Lesson 3.1, Solving Quadratic Equations. How do you solve a quadratic equation by graphing and algebraically? So going over these two problems for independent practice. 14, negative 35, and negative 7. What do they all have in common? They all have the number 7 in common, because I can divide all of them by 7. Do they have any variables in common? They do. They all have m's. The most amount of m's they all have in common is m squared. So this is my GCEF. This is what they all have in common if you did your prime factorization lists. Now, what is left over? Because there's three terms, there would have been three lists, which means I need three chunks of leftovers. Now we're trying to figure out 7 times what gave me the 14. It was 7 times 2 that gave me the 14. m to the 2nd times what would have given me m to the 6th? It was m to the 4th. 7 times what is going to give me the negative 35? 7 times a negative 5 would have given me the negative 35. m squared times what would have given me m to the 3rd? m squared times m would have given me m to the 3rd. 7 times what gave me negative 7? It was a negative 1. m squared times nothing would give me m squared. So this is my final answer. This is what you would have gotten if you did the prime lists like we did in the previous problems. Last one, 3, negative 5, and 8. No number will divide all three of those, so I have no number GCF. I see they all have A's. The most amount of A's they have is 1, so my GCF is an A. I see they all have B's. The most amount of B's that I can take out of all of them is 1, so AB is my GCF. Now I just need to figure out what is my leftovers. 3, Terms meant three lists, meant three leftover chunks. A, B times what will give me 3AB squared? AB times 3B would give me 3AB squared. AB times what is going to give me a minus 5A squared B? Well, this 1 times the minus 5 would give me the minus 5. A times another A would have given me the A squared. B is already here. Multiplied it by 1, you got the B. 1 times 8 is going to give me the 8. A times, there's already 1A. B times, there's already 1B. That was a positive 8. So this is my final answer when I factored out the GCF.